Hello, welcome to day 28. Read Psalm 28 of David. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help. As I lift up my hands toward your most holy place, do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve. Because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will tear them down and never build them again. Praise be to the Lord, for He has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and He helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I will praise Him. The Lord is the strength of His people, a fortress of salvation for His anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. In this passage, I learned that there is an urgency in the calling of David to God. To you, Lord, I call. And it means like David has his hope and trust in the Lord. And the Lord is his number one emergency call. Like, to you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. And then the if God is silent... You'll be just like someone that is just going to die. Just like, please just listen to my call. And then um, he is crying for mercy. And then he is seeking for the help from the Lord. And then he, he knows that there's consequences. That the fruit of the wicked is according to their deeds. So he doesn't want to be... Um, treated the same as the wicked and he know that God is just that he's saying that God will repay them for their evil deeds and then um, and then um, the evil is the one the people that are against God but that is opposed to God's work because it says in verse 5 it says that because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done and then that's why the Lord will tear them down and never build them up again. And then here is the hope that comes and the praises of David come. Praise be to the Lord for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. So the Lord is the one that protects. And that's, um, that's why throughout all of the experience with God that David has, his heart trusts in him. Because he experienced that the Lord helps him. And that's why his heart leaps for joy and with song he praises him and he knows that the strength of his people is the lord the lord is the fortress of salvation or his anointed one and he asks the lord to save your people and bless your inheritance be their shepherd and carry them forever there's a sense of confidence that the lord is his shepherd that will just be for them just be with them and so to put this into my life my life situation right now i have my work my classes and just relationships and socials and everything it has it just started and i need to build a habit a good healthy habit um that is the wording my time energy and resources for the lord so um i know that god is the one that holds me and my priority from all of these things is my relationship with god because he's the one that helps me to focus on the right thing and to focus on what i should be focusing on so just to not miss out what god is doing in my life and people's life around me so i just want to press on his presence and seek him where god guides he provides yep um, yeah just to always seek god he's my number one solution 
for all of my problems so i will just seek him number one how about you please share it will be building up one another god bless you see you tomorrow